How to combine and subtract shapes in Photoshop. Go to one of the shape tools, I'm going with the ellipse, and create a circle. Create another circle. With that, you've got two shapes here, and that's using the shape option up here in the top left. Select both of them, so both are selected. Go to the right side, and down to merge shapes. So merge shapes, so they combine into one layer. What you can then do is go down here and use the path selection tool. So path selection tool, select this path and you can just drag over it to select it. Drag over this one and select it. So I'm just gonna select that one and I can move it around, reposition it so I can put it anywhere I want. It's still live. However, what you can also do is go to properties and that's in the window menu and you've got Pathfinder down here. And you've got option here of subtract, you've got the combine, but subtract there. So select that one and you can see it cuts away. You've also got intersect, so where it crosses over, you've got that path there. And you've got exclude, so you've got the area that's crossed over is ignored, the rest, you've got path. You can also do the same here. Just go up here, you've got combine shapes, so you can do that. Subtract front shape, do that. So it's subtracted again and so on. What you can also do is select all of it. So all of that selected. Go up here and merge shape components. So merge shape components and that's it. It's been finalized into a single shape. You can also do it with multiple shapes. So I'm just gonna create some rectangles, four or five rectangles. Go to the move tool and select all of the shapes. Everyone I've selected, all there. Go to the right side menu and down to merge shapes or the shortcut, command or control E. Now they're all one shape layer. What you can now do, go to the path selection tool, select that and select individual shapes. Just drag over, that's the key thing. Sometimes you might end up selecting both. Sometimes you have to get exactly the right area just avoid selecting all of them. And then you can drag and you can reposition it. So you decide, you know what, I want it there. You can do exactly the same as before. Go up here and subtract front shape. So that is subtracted from all the shapes there. And you can still continue to move it around. So you can reposition it, resize it, etc., and rotate it. You can also select this one. So select that one and drag that around and go here and go to intersect, and then you'll get the intersection of those shapes. And it's still, you can still modify that, move it around, reposition it, etc. Also, you can select all of the paths, and then go to here, merge shape components. Weirdly, it's not on here. I don't know why they didn't put that on there. But merge shape components, and then you've got your complete shape. Hope you found this tutorial of interest. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you much.